new tech knife. DC kicking from right to left of your screen. U tech will be kicking from left to right of your screen. U tech in white. GC in beige. should be a corner kick to the GC Lions. Captain Dowdy liked that effort. It has just been displayed by the GC Foster. the line right there. They should watch it for the next upcoming chances for JC. Kajikas with the kick. He has it for you. Leo passes it. Kajikas is basically controlling the midfield at this moment. All passes to the captain, Knox.
we said that was a foul on the play. Hines with the throw in for GC Foster College. It was it to Cook. Rodriguez at the ball. He loses it to Geddes. He has done just enough to keep it away from Geddes. Here comes the ball. Rodriguez. Coke. Coke pressing. Rodriguez shielding. Coke pressing. Rodriguez shielding. And there comes the reinforcement. And the referee said that should be awarded to GC. That's of course a free kick in a good attacking position. It's not the best, but at least GC Foster can just get a proper cross into the penalty area. So let's hope that someone will latch on to it. Scoreline still nil-nil. With just about two minutes played thus far. GC Foster College in control. Aldane with the cross. Delicate ball in! And Geddes just barely misses that one. This should be a back kick for UTEC. Keeper Rajiquez with the back kick. Easy to rest by Trevor. Goes as far as the Baran. Knocks it wide. Reed gets it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line. This is not an electrifying contest again. Both teams are just still trying to feel out each other. They haven't really get that score in us. They would really want. So I tell you what, this really foster team is not going away. They need the three points. Coming off for a two all draw with. GK 
That one for you, Tech. Scott with another opportunity to redeem himself. He passes it to Gonta. Gonta leaves it across for Geddes. Geddes with the turn. He passes to Hines outside. Ah, and Hines couldn't get there before. Before Baron of UTEC. Throw in to VP Foster Kali. So it's okay. Co put the turn and the referee says it's a hundred ball. Handball and co. Position. Right back, he passes it to Hines. Handball caught by the referee. Still not much in this game as yet. Both teams are still trying to settle down, but I've seen some passes being trying to made, especially by the Fiji Foster Fleet. They're knocking it on the ground, but you think they're still haven't found their footing as it. If GC need to score, I think they need to score from now. For this UTEC team, setting Quefa with the kick, really? not the best of kicks. Lindsay with the challenge, clear by Baldwin. Alden. Team with the pass, Quefa gets it. There comes Gotta. Going to pass it to Alden. Alden goes long looking in search of Coke. Coke won't get there. At the moment, the ding dong battle in the midfield is not really to one team per se. They are sharing the percentage in the middle of the park. Reed with the challenge. Here goes James Reed. That should be a throw in to GC Postacar. Baran just couldn't keep it in. Nevertheless, Hines with the throw in for GC. Hines throw to Kino. So this number 22 and the 18 of GC Foster, they both have the same name, Hines, but it's spelled differently. H I N E S and H I N D S. Quaffer with it. GC Foster card. He goes last. That's a. Ah, uh, he overhits it to Scott. Wasn't a bad vision though, but he just overhits it. Goalkeeper Dowd is not really enjoying that pass at all. I think GC just needs to, to relax on these turnovers in the middle of the park. They're making too many turnovers. Lucky for them though, you think, haven't seemed to capitalize at all on any of these errors. But I tell you what, if GC gets it right just for a moment, the deadlock will be broken. Barrant has it, the UT. Challenge by Hines. Lindsay up against Steve. Over by the far side. He passes it. Get his in pressure. Scott has it now. Scott is in his own. Is the captain of the UT? No. Didn't pass 
pass Baldrick at all. In wonderful in this interception there by Baldrick. The referee awards the free kick in favor of Nitek. Nothing alarming it or threatening from this Nitek team. We have seen J.D. Foster really pressing high against this Nitek team. Ball to Baran, will he keep it in? Baran keeps it in. You know, I stop that pass and go in. Nitek will keep it in. Pass to Blair. Blair turn. And that should be a free kick awarded for Utek. I think Alden was just a little bit late on the challenge here. But nevertheless, he followed through. And that's the bill just nipping the toes of there. And nevertheless, it's a free kick. In not a bad position away from goal. I don't think Byron is going to try to score from there because it's, it's highly impossible. Unless he's going to go against the laws of physics to bend this one in the net. Two man was set by Captain Courtney Dowdy. Of course, Mullins is going to swing it across. Not a bad ball in. And he made a meal of it. Timed ball right there. And it's a penalty awarded to Utah. Cold keeper Dowdy. He's done. Keeper Dodi. He's a man of great potential. You've seen him playing for Jamaica College for the past couple of years and now for the past three years at GC Foster College. There's no surprise if he should stop this one. But nevertheless, I don't think Chapter now for your test because I want to make a mess of it. This is Captain against Captain. The Captain Striker against the Captain Keeper. Who will stand tall at the end of this one? No. For you, Ted. Jody. For GC. No one else matters this moment. Just these two and the ball. And if you look, you can see that it's a change of the kicker. Number 11. You look like number 11 for. Um, it must be some. Kind of psychological aspect displaying here by UTEC. I think they're trying to get into the minds of Gordon Dowdy. Not just spot the ball at the first spot and leave it. And guess who's entrusted? The number 11 himself. Gardner. He runs up. He kicks it. I understand you, my Courtney Dowdy. I told you about his potential. You didn't listen. Jamaica College, top keeper for past two years. Now he's fourth year into college championship. Not to be denied. Ball goes across. Ken Barron get there. He's challenged by Kino Hines. Kino Hines with the clearance. Coke and Trace, but he will never get to this one. Not before Baldrick, and he kicks it into the bush. When in doubt, kick the ball out. That's what most coaches will tell you. The excellent defending there by Baldwin. Hines with the throw in for GC Foster College. This is what you call karma, guys. In less than a minute, Utah was in the box of GC at the penalty area. They missed it. And now GC have a similar opportunity, but not as clear as Utah's opportunity. What will GC do with this? Well, referee tried to start this one out. Joining me on commentary is Clark himself, Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark, welcome to this encounter. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lindus. Looks like it's going to be a by Quiffer. The last game he has played, he has scored a beautiful free kick from about 25 yards out. Exactly. Let's see what he can do from within the penalty box. Powerful kicker. 
and this is just a crowd around the ball. I think everyone wants the opportunity to score, but the number 15 for GC. It, was, it, it looked like it was a miscommunication by the goalkeeper of Utex and uh, the, the last man. Not necessarily, it's like I think the intense pressure he came under when Lindsay and Alden pressed him, he, he had no chance and to just pull that ball to the keeper. But out of reflex, the keeper just hang on to it instead of booting it away. And now GC have been awarded an indirect free kick from a very dangerous position. Geddes is in there. Gunter is there as well. Kino Hines is there as well. Haldane is right there. Who will it be? It's it's a kick. Oh, and it strikes down. And it was a good wall by the, the UK. Excellent defending. Excellent defending. By Baldwick and his team. Corner kick awarded. Look like Geddes is going to kick that corner again on the right side of the field. Geddes, of course, has scored a goal already yeah, this some season. Excellent headers. Quiffer is in the air. Geddes with the cross. Head goes up. Misses. Kino and Trace for JC. He will get there before Baron. He gets past Baron, and he puts it back inside, Lindsay, Coke, oh, Coke, oh, Coke, Coke back just back. missed it. Coke looking like he's having a silent day. Lindsay on that press. Get his in on that press again. Number five for UTEC. Gonta. There goes Baldwin with the ball. Uh, he's trying to pass it to Baldwin, but it just didn't work. He's trying to pass it to Baldwin. Hines with the turn for JC. Gonta with the ball. Passes to Quefa. Goes across the field. Looks like a very bad pass by Schreffer. Uh, good defending by the number two, 23 of GC Foster College. Green going, up, going up against the captain of UTEC Knox. But Knox just gets away with that one. Here comes Knox and Scott with the fight. Not having none of that. The referee seems to tell him the UTEC coach to sit down. He's not having no more of his nonsense on the sideline. Early press by Dennis, but Caught in by Baldwin. Keeper Dowdy had that ball covered from a mile away. Caught Dowdy retrieving the ball. Caught Dowdy suffering from a knee injury, but he seems to be very fine out there. The pass by Baldwin. Coke is well. challenging. Good ball. Get his, get his inside looking box. inside. Get his. Oh, that's on the offside. Should have passed the ball quicker than that. Get his.
challenge the player but the ball goes over for two. Desperately kills the ball, get his. Ah, Kog, this rock, get his place. We're going to retrieve. Oh, 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 like a chase by. He miscalculated that pass. Oh, the goalkeeper looks very comfortable in the goal. Here goes Rodriguez once more. Right. Go, 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 go. Here is the ball. Gunter is under it. Good challenge. Hines in shape. And Hines. Here goes Tino. Tino Hines. Going to goal. Ball across the court. Cork has it. Cork has it. Shot charged out. Barrett has it for you, Tech. He knocks his right out. Aldean for GC Foster. Over Ixis for Hines. Over Ixis for Hines. Looks like this is a battle in the midfield for U-Tech and GC Foster College. It's a choke. And that looks like a full show, but he's not calling it. And it's a press by Hines. Kino Hines. Kino Hines is... Another hands for GC Foster and Gonta. Not, not a foul. Advantage. The referee plays advantage. Hines collects it again. The ball and the Utah player. They receive a choke. That was just easily charged down there. Gonta receives it in free space. Hines goes to Krefa. Krefa looks at, look at Dodi. Dodi. Dodi is very comfortable with the ball at his feet. But Look at that beauty. In the jump, but missed the ball and received the ball. Oh my God, and this looks like a chance. But Quefa retrieved the ball again. Lifesaver around there at the back. But GC Foster is pushing forward. Pushes forward. And it, the defender misses. Quefa, and Quefa wins a foul. Beautiful run by Kuffer. Beautiful. I know Blair would have just brought him down right there. That two for my run there by Kuffer from about 20 meters away from his defense line. Someone would have must taken him down. Kuffer hits the ball around the back looking for Geddes. Get his miscalculated that ball, get his child keeping it in. Don't put me in your camera and suck up the check. Rodriguez for you, Tech. It's always difficult to control these supporters of TV Foster College. They're very passionate. There goes Lindsay. Lindsay gives it to Halden. Halden put it down. To Scott. Scott gets it on the far side. Gunter. Oh, that's some Karachi. Superman defending. Yeah. They're playing Karachi out there. Baldwin. Coke presses. Baron. Kino presses. Hines. There goes Lear on the chase. Hines cover. Hines cover. And it's a fall. It's a fall to GC Foster. Yes, it's a fall to GC Foster. Nice covering from Hines. And it seems to be that two hinds on the field for GC Foster. Earlier I've made a comment between those two hinds. The G line, it's hind spelled H-I-N-E-S. And for our line, it's H-I-N-D-S. So there are it's two hinds on the field for from Coke to Heinz. Kino Heinz. Kino and Chai. And the half side back to Kino Heinz. It was a good run and then it was a good look.
Come alive, but I tell you what, referee Patrick Finley is a no nonsense referee. a defensive free kick. There's nothing much to be awarded from it. Reed. What you think? He goes last. In search. A coke. Coke is enough here to Gunter. Gunter gave it to Linda. Linda loses out. Cut on the chain. should be a throw in for GC. Get his on chase for GC. Get his done well to get by Mullins here, but Mullins just recovered and forced to get his to make the error. Now goalkeeper Ajikas have to take the back kick again. Both teams have settled down now. The more passes are being made but the, the lock is yet to be broken in Spanish star read with the header read goes outside he misses Griffin recovers Griffin recovers and made the clearance for first line and strength of your blood loses like taking a child here goes Reed Tries to pass it to get it, but he over hits it. He's with the challenge again. Ends up space. Yes, time. Knocks inside for Alde. Alde in turn and kills two. There goes Reed. Reed to Gunter. Gunter to Alde. Captain for you, Tech Knox. He's just pressing in the number 10, but he's not getting the ball. He looks to be very comfortable on the football. Gunter now. passes to Reed. He needs to clear the lines, and they have just cleared it. There goes Utec Walton with that stop there. Interception by Walton. Stop the ball from reaching as far as Getty. Getty is playing a different position here this evening. He's playing more to the right, to the right winger. And Coke is injected in the middle of the park. Standing forward. Lindsay with the throw in. Get his guess and leave it for Lindsay. Went out for touch. Bad touch by Lin um, Get it. Trying to find his partner. Lindsay with the number 17 for this point. Solid. Still awaiting the deadlock to be broken here. At Spanish Town. Cheesy Foster College. Get, get his. Speed. speed of lightning. Get his lead for Scott. So Scott takes a shot throw. You get his get his with the ball and he charged down. Corner kick awarded to GC. Walton there just doing just enough to stop Gettys from making any progress on that far side. Walton the number five for you get. Gettys is entrusted to swing in all these corners from the right side but he haven't done much with it as yet he needs a great delivery here just to bring the lock good ball in it goes up no one there for GC at the back court balls off you tech throw into GC and takes it 
X-Men defending by Baran. Knock to number 10 for Yutek has it. Pressured by Kino. Baran has it. He passes to Gardner. Gardner is dribbling in the midfield. Passes as far as Walton, but. Well, he kept it in. And the referee said, a story. So Walton on the far side is really coming to life in the past few minutes. And he's been doing great. He's stopping Geddes from progressing. On the left side over here, the, both Ainz are having a styling game. Geddes with the square. The good square. Not a bad ball in. Ainz getting it. Ainz with the two. Ainz on the ball. Bad call. Oh, quickly finish. Good Excellent assist by Ainz. Good, good assist by Ainz. You couldn't have guessed where that goal is coming from. Good finish by Coke. Good Hines passing tries to back. Finish it. But we have to commend Geddes with that square. That was an excellent square by Geddes. Beautiful square. He aimed it for Hines. Yeah, on the right side. He aimed it for Hines. Hines gets it, but he didn't do well with it. Lucky for Cole. Coke was lurking. And he just placed that one before he kind of away from scary. Rodriguez. Goalkeeper Rodriguez have no idea which lightning struck there in that goal post. But I tell you what. The early press by Coke. Coke looking like he's. he's, he's JC, one. You take. Yep. Zero. And GC look like they have come to life now. Coke is at this press again. Guy now has it. Ninja wins it. Knocks have it, the captain for you take. He passes it inside. Two well done. Good ball there by God. Cut. He goes as far as it's cut though. Knocks lurking. As in, Lindsay. Lindsay missed it. They all missed control the ball. He will take the number four for you take. He knocks it to Bargain. Bargain have up to the far side. He tried to force it to knock his captain, but he didn't go to his team or have it. Strong challenge in the midfield. And that. The referee said there's nothing wrong with that challenge. And Hines recover Lindsay again. Have it. Gives to Allen. Allen passes it to Hines. Hines to Kino. Namesake you call him. Both Hines on the near side. Hines pressing. Lose out to Baran. Baran to Gardner. Gardner the man who misses the penalty. Passes to Baran. Baran passes his captain. The captain passes straight back to Gardner. Gardner to Baldwin. They're just knocking it around. I try to break it up, but he goes first to the captain knocks. He has it just to say the number 10 for Utek. He passes it to Baran. Strong challenge by Kwefa. The centre back for Jason. Strong challenge. Gardner has it though. He's in the left field area for Utek. I think he over it's that one. And that should be a throw into JC. Excellent skill display by the forward side by Fogel. GC first the coach. The coach for the GC first the team. Excellent skill. He takes it brilliantly. Scott with the throw in for DC. Gunter and Trey. Walton with the header. Get it. Get it. Get it, the man. With another square inside. Hines is there. What will he do with it? He's still in the box. He's trying to get it across. He loses out to Barrant. Barrant has it. And as it's a corner kick. Referee how was it a corner to GC Foster? I think. I've awarded GC a penalty, but no foul was there. Nevertheless, it's a corner. Head goes up. And they missed that at the back post. Coke was looking like he was sleeping for that one. Um, and you text is trying to clear the lines. That's just far as team on the far side. Reed with the challenge. Looks to be like a shoulder charge. Throw in awarded to you text. Not a throw, you know. It's a free kick. Because of the shoulder charge. Walton goes high with it. He goes as far as the Lindsay. Lindsay has it in the pass of Geddy. But Barrant has it. Get it in trace to get it. Nah, the captain for Utec. He passes inside. He passes right back to Barrant. Barrant miscontrols. Ball goes into touch. GC has it. Keem was making the pass to Barrant. Barrant took it high up the ball. And 
ball's room right over his leg and went straight into touch. GC enjoying at least 55% of ball possession here. But possession don't win games, they also have the one and only goal so far. And I tell you what, everyone hates about Mali. It's always hard to come back from those, but I don't think Coach Bahamas or Coach Angus really need or really prefer the one. They want that cushion. So at least a 3 or 4 nil would be in favor of GC. Remember earlier in the game that Courtney Dodi have saved a penalty. Excellent penalty there, of course. Griffa wins the challenge, Griffa brings the ball again. Griffa. He overeats that one. Will he get his get there? No, he won't. He would have to chillick in that super speed that we see Usain Bolt use almost for the past nine years. I don't think Geddes have it. Not at this moment in this game. He has speed, but he's not that fast. No. He has the Warren Weir speed. He passes it to Byron, the number seven. Contra with the challenge. To the forest to Alain. Alain leaves it for Alain. Alain loses out. Control the, team, the ball. Team pass and knocks. Knocks out with the captain, the number ten for Lutex. He puts it in the post at the end of pass. Can you believe it? I can't believe Faith in his control. That one. That was a brilliant ball there by the captain. It was a good pressure bit between Cotton and Reed. Faith should it. have done a lot more better with that ball. The goalkeeper Dowdy should have had some sort of work to do there. But nevertheless, he miscontrolled it. So Dowdy is breathing a sign of relief now. He with the challenge in the midfield for UTEC. Again, it is right there with T. Games off. Mm -hmm. Games is off about again. To Scott. Scott trying to find Lynn. Dying off. The second half and count off. GC Foster College versus UTEC. Had GC Foster College, so GC is playing at home. UTEC. GC having the all important goal at this moment, leading 1 0 to UTEC. Brilliant goal coming in the 36 minutes from Coke. Here goes UTEC. This number 16 for UTEC. Spacey. There goes Lindsay now for GC. The number 17. Passes it to Gunter, the number 21. For GC. Gunter passes it forward. It's charged down by Walton. Mullen trying to get by Aldane. Aldane gets it from Mullen. And Aldane passes it wide to Gardner. Aldane has it. Lindsay has it for GC in the midfield. Gardner is guilty of fouling Lindsay on that play. Kwefa should take it for GC, and he did take it. He's trying to find Hines on the far side, but Barrant is becoming a menace. There goes another Hines now. Horal Hines, he plays it low. Not the best of squares, but Lindsay misses it. That's the number 10 for UTEC. He misses control of it. Reed has it for GC. The number 23 passes wide to Gettys, the number 14. Mullins with the challenge from behind. Cole with a brilliant pass. Gettys gets it. He shoots squares across. It is not a bad square, but there goes Baldwin. Mullins picks it up for UTEC. Has it to Knox, the captain. Baldwin has it again for UTEC. Knox is back to the captain, Knox. Knox with the challenge. Trying to find Gardner on the far side. He finds Gardner. Gardner looks up. He posts it in the pass. Oh, and Captain Dowdy just easily stops it. Tell you about Courtney Dowdy. He's one of the best keeper in this tournament right now. He makes his saves look so simple. Walter. Mullen. Lindsay has it for GC. Lindsay just overhits it. That's not the best of passes. He's a senior man in the squad. He's been playing for four years now. I really know his quality, and that surely wasn't his quality. Here comes Keem with the shot. Not good. Don't just easily collect it. Actually, it was with that shot, but 
That's a routine catch for Doug. A training catch. Doug is it forward in the path of Gettys. Ball is pushed it out or throw in. Scott's going to take his own little time. Reach there. He's not it's in any hurry Katori. at all. Referee Patrick Finley is just looking at him. <laughs> There's nothing much he could do though. Again, GC kicking from left to right off the screen. In the brown and beige. You taking white. Mullins have it. Trying to clear their lines, you take. Not as far. He takes control of his spot. Pass it to Alde. Alde is out to the captain of New Tech. Not, not Savage. Pass it to Gardner. Gardner puts it to the pass of Blair. Blair on trace for New Tech. Barron has it. Barron gets by Quefa. Barron to the square. Not good. Behind the goal, referee said that should be a corner. Referee Finley awarded UTEC with the corner. To me, that doesn't look like a corner. It's excellent. It's a good thing you're not the referee. The referee says it's a corner, and it's a corner. Blair is going to take it for UTEC, the number 17. This should be a left foot swing into it. Of course, it's going to go towards goal. Dodi has to look at it. Good ball in, head goes up. No one's there to capitalize. Reed just watching it run for a throw in. GC having the one goal advantage. I've got the opportunity of listening to their halftime talks and I can tell you something for a fact. Coach Hangus just simply asked his players, what's your role? He's just reminding them of their role. Because these guys are, of course, students at the best institution in the country. You don't have to be coaching these guys, but nevertheless, they should know their role and go out there and perform as the coach asks. So Coach Angus just remind them of their role. While the Coach Bahamas just remind them of their set pieces, how to move, transition from one era to the next. I'm just dying to see GC awarded another set piece to see how they will execute. Both with the challenge. Hines have it. Byron put the clearance for UTEC. Coach Bahamas is also a student here at GC Foster College. He's a fast player. He's great at volleyball as well. But don't let his smile fool you. He's an excellent coach. Utec having trouble trying to cross the line. Not about that time by Cole. Get in! Get the shot, but he goes sky high. I tell you what. It's a good thing Coach Wilson, the head coach here at Sprint Tech and GC Foster Card did not put in the stadium balls. Because if he have, Jennings would have just broken a few lamps. That ball was really, really high. He went under it and it lifted. He should have tried to get over the ball and hit it forward towards goal. And that's a substitution for UTEC. I was wondering when they were going to do it. Nobody is on. And he's been gifted to play the role of Walter. Walton Rose, just to play left back. Good ball there by Lindsay. In the part of the number nine. But he gets by his player. Can he keep it in? No. Wildman, the number nine for DC Foster College, just made his contribution, but it wasn't the best. I think he's just warming up. Some of these first guys, they take good time to warm up. And once they get into their play, there's no stopping them. Haldane, 
Gunter. Quest has it now for GC. The centre back. He passes it to Geddes. Geddes does well to get. Cook has it. He turns. He was challenged. Hines has it. Hallian has it. Hallian looks up, passes in the path of Geddes. Excellent defending there. By Barnes. But can Mullins do? Mullins just overhits it. Knox didn't get it. Captain Knox really wanted that ball, but. You've seen a challenge on Coke. Earlier, you've seen a challenge on Coke. It wasn't called by the referee, but it seems to be in some sort of discomfort. Medical personnel were, were called on by Mr. Finley, the referee. Now, Coke is being escorted off the field for treatment. Tell you what, GC will definitely want to see Coke in good condition because he's the man that scored goal for them today he's a goal scorer caught with the throwing for gc foster college <laughs> no blazes for you check the number 12. he passes it to mullin Gardner by pass it. He goes to Keem. Keem does right to pass it to Baldwick. Baldwick passes wide for Barron. Good turn there from Scott. He gets by his man. Scott passes it. Forward to Blair. Blair with a left foot square. Charged down by Quefa. The centre back of the GC. He's coming back, Patrick. This centre back for GC, Quefa, he has talent, he has quality, he just takes the ball in his chest and he's here it's calmly. Balls across the goal. It falls to Mullins. Mullins trying to get get by Scott. Didn't work. Keem with the shot. And it's wide of the target. Not much Keem could have done with that. Defenders were right there in front of him. GC defenders, they're just placing them, so they're keeping their shape. Maintain their shape in the middle of the park right there. From the centre back to the old midfield, to the centre midfielders. These guys are always their shape. The goalkeeper down is spotting it for Quefa, the centre back to take the bucket. Met by Noble of Utec. Caught with the header. No blue with the challenge. Throw him to GC Foster College. Scott will take it. Throws it to the centre of Quefa. Quefa knocks it back to Scott. Not a bad turn by Scott. He gets past Mullen. Going to it for GC. He's brought down. Excellent challenge by Garner. Garner passes forward to Knox. Met by Reed. Challenge in the midst. The team loses out to Lindsay. Lindsay has to pass it wide to Wildman. Wildman on Chase. On Chase for GC. But Barrent has done just enough to stop Wildman from getting it. This second half action is getting a little, a little lively. Lindsay with the, the interception. Gunter has it. Gunter wanted to charge up, get his eyes, get it to get by his man. Met by Noble, Noble has it. No, Mullins has it, passes it to Knox, the captain, the number 10. Can't get by Alden. Gunter takes up charge now. Gunter passes to Scott, Scott passes to Prefer. And this is GC Foster College maintaining their shape.
Ball to Dowdy. Dowdy with the clearance. As far as Alden, Alden takes it down. But Blair, the number 17 for Utah, is making some Superman run over there. Ball is passed right back to Blair. Gardner has it, the midfielder, the number 11. That should be a good ball to Mullins. Mullins does enough Novo. Mullins, half side was called against Mullins of UTEC. Free kick awarded to GC. Another defensive free kick. Referee Finley is just reminding the players to mind their own business and leave the referee work to him. You know, players are always trying to <laughs> trying to officiate the game themselves. And referee Patrick Finley is having none of it this evening. Quaffer with the kick. Brilliant ball is looking towards Wildman. Shot by Lindsay. Ball is denied. Over the cross bar. Lindsay can hit them. That one just missed it. He went too much under that one. I still don't think this game is going to hit one nil. I think there's more, more goals in it. I think GC can score a few more. They've been pressing. They've been pressing. And they're basically all over this Utah team. Gary yeah, should win this. And they did win it. Passes the Gunter Gunter to our day. Alin passes it twice to Wildman. Wildman has it. Wildman gets by one, gets by two, brought down. James with the easy clearance for Utah. And there it goes, there again. Garner, the number 11 in the midfield for Utah has it. He's looking at Mullins wide, but caught. With the clearance. Wildman, the challenge in the midfield. Picked up by Gunter. Gunter to Lindsay. Lindsay with the third. Lindsay puts his power in. And the referee said it's a free kick in favor of you. Again, we see another player down on the field. If he gets up, that's the ball with the number 18. He's playing an essential defending role. Yeah. He just came out of a not a hard, a hard hitting tackle with coat, but now he's up. Now the goalkeeper at will take the kick. He pushes power in the path of Reed. Met by Haldane. Haldane with the chair on for GC. Picked up by Keem for UTEC. Passes in the pass of Noble. Quest for the challenge. Oh, excellent skill there by the number 16 for UTEC and he misses. Barrant with the square across. It's not a good square, it's charged down. And that should be a foul in the place as the referee Finley. You feel Facey coming alive, trying to bring UTEC. Back on level terms here, but this GC defenders, they're not allowing Faze to take a shot. But even though he does the trickery and produces a pie, but nothing else is the water. There's no end product in it. I tell you what, you can shift all you want, you can salad who you want, you can pie who you want. But if you don't have the goal, you are going to lose the match. Now Scott is down for GC Foster College. I think he's suffering some sort of cramps. Now he's up. The medical personnel are taking him off. He feels to continue play. Referee Finley thinking this is a strategy by GC Foster College. So he said, Challenge by Skill Pierce. Baran should get this, and he, he did get it. Reed is under it. 
Pode ter gol, Patiós. Lindsay is being substituted. Looks like Rumpel is coming on to play for, for Lindsay. Rumpel is on. But you see, you're not a senior member in the squad. Kimson has a pass this wide to James. James on a pressure by Geddes. Conta gets by one. Geddes has it. He passes it to Ali. Ali under pressure. He has to release it quickly now. Skillfield has it. He passes it to Blair. Blair and Lewis. Noble. Skill pill. Blues out to Rampel. Excellent. Interception. Jordan has it in the midfield for you. Like he makes a pass to overlapping Barron, but Barron won't get there. Wasn't a bad pass there by the number 11 of UTEC, Gardner. But Barron would have never catch that even on his best day. Just not that quick. Teamy, Gardner again. Miscommunication there. Teamy has it, nobly gets it now for UTEC. Get it is there. Get by getting. That should be an easy call here by the referee. Quefa just charged into the back of Gardner. Free kick taken quickly. Noble has it. Under pressure by Gennis. Gennis does it. He gives it to Lewis. Lewis goes long. Kill Pill has it, the number nine for UTEC. James for UTEC. Now sit the Noble, the number 12 for UTEC. James again. He goes long in search of player and face he was not being hit. Lewis sends it back up there. Stops it from going into throw. Haldane guilty of committing a foul against Gardner. Gardner thinks about, thought about taking it quickly but then he changed his mind. Gardner standing over it. Gardner knocks it in the path of Blair. But Lewis have done enough but Blair gets away. Quite for with the clearance. No nonsense centre back. He's not taking no prisoner. co country. He went just there before a team. Team has it now for UTEC. He passes it to Rajikas. Rajikas has option. Rodriguez goes long but it's flat in the path of Rumpel. Rumpel looks up, pushes to Wildman. Wildman gets it, over his head, and the referee says this should be another free kick. Free kick in a dangerous position for GC Foster College. This is an excellent opportunity for GC to extend their lead by two goals. Well for the centre back for GC should be the favourite to take this one. This is about eight or so yards away from where he scored his last goal when he scores a magnificent free kick against Case. He's eight yards away from that spot. He's approximately 28 yards away from goal now. What can he produce here? Will he go after the goal? Will he give, the, give his teammates a chance? Quefa, number 15 for GC. Substitution have just been made. Finch is in for GC Foster College. Here goes Quefa. Quefa runs up. He kicks it. I don't know. He's charged down in the wall. Alain on the chase for GC. Alain gets there first.
Hands of it. Met by Gonta. Gonta steps it in. Macy has to come back to make the tackle there. As Gonta would have probably get a square turn and get a square. Lewis threw it towards Prince. Prince on the challenge there. The number 12 clash, Prince and Noble. And that should be another throw in there to GC Foster College. I think Lewis should go for a long throw inside the box with this one. But he goes for a short one against towards Prince. Clash of the number 12, Prince and Noble. Prince of GC, Noble of UTEP. Prince can't seem to get by. Noble gets help from the captain. Prince with the square across. Wildman gets it. Shot by Jennings. And he pushed it over the bar. Not a bad play there by GC Foster College. Excellent play there by Prince. He gets by Noble. He gets by Knox. And lay the ball perfectly for Jennings. Gelly scuffed the shots though. The game remains 1-0 in favor of GC Foster College. Challenge there by Reed. Quefa with the clearance again. GC protecting what they have. Prince has it. Loses out. Kill Pellas in the midfield. The number 9 for Utah. Knox gets it. Puts it in the path of Prince. Prince loses out. Rumpels couldn't get it. Gardner has it now. GC has it once more. Wildman has it for GC. The number 9. He's going up against Gardner. Gardner wins it from Wildman. There is enough to give it to Baron. Baron gave it to Knox. Knox pushes forward in terms of Blair. Blair has it. Hines done just enough. Quepa tries to mop something. Show goes in favor of GC. Tell this GC team they are protecting their 1 0 lead. Exactly what I would expect from them. Coach Angus did tell them to protect what they have. Rumpel with the header towards Geddes. Geddes and Skillful meet up. Geddes done enough. Still, nice ball there by Rumpel. The Prince, Prince passes it to Geddes. The referee said it's outside. He just tray a little bit outside there. He should have timed this run better. Excellent move there by Facey. Met by Hines. Reed is there. Excellent play from Lewis. Lewis gave it to Gunter. Gunter returns. Skillfully gets it. Facey gets it now. Excellent skill display by Facey. Number 16 of UTEC. He had options. He had three bands around him now. Quefa with the tackle. That was a hefty tackle by the, the centre back. That ball went straight over the wall. Final few minutes of this game and this game is living up to expectation. With GC leading 1-0 to UTEC. UTEC of course they are applying their own part of pressure but not good enough. Not good enough for them to get the equalizer. Kill Pill has it now for UTEC. Met by Gunter. The number 21 for GC Foster. Kill Pill the number 9 takes the throw in. He's still within the pass of Garda. Rumpel and Trace. Mark Savit, the captain for UTEC, the number 10. He goes long in favor. The fine face is number 16, met by Quefa. And that's an easy foul by the number 3 of UTEC. He's guilty. Riley is guilty of fouling the centre back. GC live to celebrate another attack. If Riley haven't come at that phone, maybe, just maybe, they would have found an equalizer. Wildman in the first side challenge. Baron get the best of him though. Chap cannot hit the throw for UTEC. You can sense the level of urgency by the UTEC players. 
The throw is not for you take any win fight. Hind just take it and take the throw. Excellent flick of the header. Didn't go through for Prince though. Met by Reed. Hines just sealed it out, but he didn't realize was gonna be, that throw was gonna go against him. Now Knox again with the throw in. Gardner has it for you taking the middle. He passed it to Skill Pill. Skill Pill passes it to James. James has options. He passes it back to Gardner. Gardner to Byron. Byron goes long in search of Riley. Riley messing with the head. It hits the post and it comes off. That was an excellent header by Riley. But he hits off the upright. Goalkeeper Dowdy had no idea where that ball was going. Tried to make the square. Dowdy should collect at the front post. Back kick says the referee. Jutek is coming alive in this last few minutes. Excellent header by Riley. It is off the frame of the post. Goalkeeper Dodi was beaten. Puffer with the back kick for GC. Prince challenges the lost. Skill pillars for you, Tech. Good press by Sprint of GC. Gardner has it. He needs it for Baron. Baron has it now for you, Tech. Baron pass in the pass of Blair. Blair brought down. Quefa is here. Dowdy is there. Who's going to take it? Goalkeeper Dowdy just picks it up. GC is just managing the clock at this moment. Excellent time management from GC. Holding position. Wide man for GC. James has it for you, take. Pass it to Nobis. Wildman press. Wildman press it. Wildman gets it for JC. Tied it by Noble though. And Noble just shakes him off. James has it. Passes it inside to Knox. Rumpel has it for JC. Rumpel still has it. Get by one player. Excellent skill there by Rumpel. He pushing the pass of Prince. Prince won't get there before Keen. Keen clear his line to Barron. Barron have it on the far side for GC. For Utec rather. Not to leave it for Skillpel. Utec is enjoying their position now. Because GC is standing behind the ball. It's an excellent strategy of course. Skillpel is dribbling. Wildman wins it from Skillpel. Skillpel gets it back and passes it to Nobu. Pink on the press. James has it. Utek is trying to play a little bit more patient. But what can they produce here with this attempt? Ball goes through for Facey, met by Reed. Trumpel out in the midfield for GC. Get his habit, he knocks it back to Rumpel. Rumpel passes it to Alden. Alden pushes it in part of Lewis, met by Lewis. Prince has it now for GC, but Prince is offside. He has been in that offside position for the past minute. He hasn't moved. Now Knox has it, the captain for UTEC. Knox goes long in search for Facey. Facey gets a touch, but it's nothing dangerous for goalkeeper Dowdy. UTEC is getting some excellent opportunities here, but they're not capitalizing on Henny. They are not capitalizing. And that's what makes the big difference here with the scoreline. GC being 1 0 up. UTEC is a bit wasteful. For the past few minutes, it's been UTEC. The past few minutes, it's been UTEC attacking the goal. GC is just sitting behind the ball, which is expected though. You are up by a goal with a few minutes remaining in the game. You want to secure what you have. So because GC is saying the end the ball, you take have more space on the field now to move the ball around. But they're still not making use of any opportunity that they've got. Sharp is now being included. Sharp, the number 24, is on for GC. Lewis. Hajay. Skill for UTEC. 
Gardner, brilliant touch to Gardner. Gardner being challenged up by by Reed. Byron puts it back in the pass. For Gardner, but he's behind the challenge there by Sharp. Sharp defended excellently. Just a while ago, corner kick awarded. You take, they take it quickly. No, Blair with the square with the left foot. Head goes up. Met by Sharp. Keen with the shot. Charged down by the defenders. Knox has it. Clearance here by Rumpel. Referee said he's guilty of high boot. Referee Finley says he's guilty. Free kick awarded to UTEC. This is UTEC's first attacking free kick, rather. Just a few minutes remaining in this encounter. GC leading by a goal to nil. Goalkeeper Dowdy is busy at trying to set his wall. This is an opportunity to see what UTEC has with their kind of technical workout when it comes on to set pieces. Let's see how technical this team is. Blair is behind it. Blair should take it. For UTEC, he chips it forward, edge goes up, ball goes towards goal, no too wide, Barrett messed up on it. Ball comes to the cross, easy save for hey, Dowdy. That's just a routine catch there by the captain. He lays on the ground, you know he's just burning that extra few seconds off the time. Referee yeah, Finley has just instructed, three minutes of play remaining. Ball goes long, Prince is in search. He will not get there before Rajikas. Rajikas has the ball forward. Wildman misses. Wildman up again. Skill pill. Skill pill with a high boot there. Drum pill passes. Gets to Wildman. Wildman gets by Skill pill. Wildman passes the ball forward. Misses it. Wildman, what is he going to do? Get by one player. Wildman brought down. Another free kick for GC in a dangerous spot. Drum pill wanted to take it quickly. Then he just thought about it and said no. Let's burn some more time. I tell you what, the past few minutes has been electrifying. Entering action. UTEC, GC, UTEC, the new GC. That's what's been happening here, folks. If you're not here to see it live, don't worry. I'm sure my cameraman is doing an excellent job at that. Quefa, have the opportunity of extending their lead. Will he go after the goal? He kicked it. He went over the cross. Boy, that ball was bound to lift. So Quefa booted that one over the cross. Boy, that's his second kick of the day, and he's booted both. First one was charged down in the wall, was blocked by the wall rather, and the second one was went way over the cross bar. One too high, one too low. I have a feeling that if he gets a third kick, he might just push on target. Limited time in the game, he may not get that opportunity anymore. Goalkeeper Ajipa. He spots it and leaves it for Baran to kick it out. Baran goes wrong, but it's flat. Skill Pill is to catch it in the midfield here. Challenged by Gunter. Skill Pill is enough to pass it to Noble. Noble keeps it in. Challenged by a wild man, just by a wild man. No blood, just the same. He gets by a wild man again. Wild man presses it, Quefa has it. Now Lewis takes it up. And Lewis puts his power, but it's blocked. Riley with the shot, but the shot is not good. Time is against UTEC, so of course they're going to rush each shot they get. Only if Riley had just a little bit more time and allowed that ball to fall lower, you could have get over it and have more control and projection towards where you wanted it to go. But instead he rushes the shot and he scuffed it. GC is still leading by a goal to nil. UTEC still trying to find that equalizer. Quefa with the back it. And referee Finlay has called it. That's the end of this encounter. GC won. You take nearly. GC moves up to four points. And that's how the cookie crumbles.
in Spanish Town, St. Catherine.